going on YouTube? This is Aaron Martin here. Today we're going to be talking about the ABU to OCP transition, but first, before we do any of that, I'm going to show you all my new car and also get a haircut. So, with that being said, follow me. Here we are. It is a 2016 Ford Focus. I bought a black one. I bought the traditional sedan model. It's a really nice car. I enjoy it. Definitely haven't had any issues with it besides having to replace a couple things, but that's not really a problem for me. Anyone who followed my videos previously for the last couple months knows I like vlogging in my car. I don't really know why. I don't know. It's just you know, there's no one in here, you know, it's nice out, you know, you can see me better. So, yeah, I'm going to go get a haircut, and then we're going to talk about that transition phase, yeah? We're back. So, haircut's done, we're all good there, so I'm going to talk to you guys about the Air Force transition phase for the ABU to OCB, and after we're done giving the actual straight-up facts, I want to give you my opinion. But right now, just facts. So let's go Let's go over this for a little bit, why don't we? So let's go over the timeline for the AB to OCP change. And then I'm gonna have the graphic that I'm reading from on screen so you can see all the different changes if you wanna read them for yourself. But I'm just gonna go over the timeline and my opinion as well. So first, let's look at this timeline. I'll read it out for you. 2018, right? Serviceable OCPs may be worn. Airmen can purchase OCPs at the following AFES locations, Aviano Air Base, Charleston Air Force Base, Shaw Air Force Base, and McDill Air Force Base. That's one October. 2019, one April. Expansion of in-stores AFES sales locations include tan t-shirt, must be worn. Does it stand is authorized until this date. Online sales projected to be available. So that's October of the same year, 2019. 2020, one June. Cardi Brown boots must be worn. Tan is authorized until this date. DLA issued green socks must be worn. Desert tan, tan authorized until this date. 2021, one April. Must be mandatory wear dates. That's when the AB was just done. No more wearing it regardless. The benefits to this. The OCP works in climates all across the spectrum of missions we perform. That's true. Over 100,000 airmen have been issued and are already wearing OCPs. This includes Air Force Central Command, Air Force Special Operations Command, and our Global Strike Counter Defenders. It's also true. People deploying wore these. The OCPs will bring back Air Force Herald League with unit patches. Yeah, that's also true. I'm actually kind of excited about that. And the OCP celebrates our joint warfighting excellence and a close ties with the Army. The Army's wearing this uniform. There's going to be just a slight seldom differences. This graphic will also include the uh, all the different things you can notice between the Air Force, ABU, and the OCP. They're really obviously different. Like, you can just look at them and go, oh, yeah, he's wearing OCPs. It's really obvious. So, my opinion. So, on one hand, right, I liked being distinguishable from the Army because... No one likes being called by their brother's name. Nothing was more infuriating than whenever I had to stop at, like, the gas or, like, stop and get something real quick and be like, hey, man, how's the army? Or, oh, it's going, soldier? I'm like, ugh. It's, it's infuriating, to say the least. No one likes it. Trust me, any service member will tell you they hate that. However, the reason why it's happening, people that are not in usually have me, why are they doing this? Simply put, morale. The Air Force on the whole hates the ABU largely. And those are people who have been in a while. Newer people don't usually care because it's the only uniform they know. But largely, the Air Force hates it because it's not functional. It doesn't blend for shit. It's not as comfortable as the OCP and has less functionality. On the whole, that is why. So I, that's that's it is what it is, you know. Personally, again, I don't want to go looking like the Army. However, this uniform does look like it'd be more comfortable to wear and more functional on the whole. So that's my opinion. It's not a big deal. But I'll link to you guys all the articles and everything down below if you really want to read them. It isn't a long video. It's just the AB to OCP transition phase. By 2021, the entire Air Force is going to be wearing these. Uh, for now on, this is going to start. I know they're going to start this um, uh, this year. I think in September or October. So from now on, soon, probably around that time frame, people going to basic training and in tech school will probably be issued these and they can start wearing them around. People who are already in operational are going to have to buy them. It sucks. That's what a clothing allowance is for. Even though no one uses it for that. That's it. That's all I really had to talk to you guys about today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I finally uploaded my first video on my vlogging channel. Please check it out. Um, it's going to be up on the screen here. As long as all my other usual stuff. And uh, yeah. It's, uh, it's been Aaron Martin, guys. See ya.